In the last video, we learned what a soroban is and how can we use this thing to calculate really, really fast. We also learned how to represent numbers on a soroban. So if you haven't watched that video yet, click this card to watch that video first and then watch this video. In this video, we will learn how to add and subtract numbers on a soroban. So let's begin. Hello Genesis. To learn how to add and subtract numbers on a soroban, let's start with a very simple example and then slowly we will move on to complex one. Suppose you want to do 1 plus 3. How will you do it? See, it's very simple. See, you will first represent 1 on a soroban. Right now it's a 0. So 1, this, like this. Now to add 3 into this, we will move 3 earth beads up. So now what this soroban is representing? A 4. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So simple, right? Now suppose you want to do 3 plus 5. What you will do? You will simply represent 3 on a soroban and then you will move one heaven bead down because this represents a 5. So now what this is? 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. So simple, right? So from here learn this rule, which is that whenever earth beads move up, and heaven beads move down, addition occurs. Now let's try a very simple example of subtraction. Suppose you want to do 8 minus 3. So right now 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 is already there on the soroban. So we want to subtract 3. What you will do? Simple. Move 3 earth beads down. Now it's 5. Now suppose you want to subtract 5 from a 5. Simple. Just move this bead up. So from here the rule you need to understand is that whenever earth beads move down and heaven beads move up, subtraction occurs. So another way to remember this is that whenever beads move toward this value bar, addition occurs and whenever beads move away from this value bar, subtraction occurs. Now just for practice let's add this small string of numbers. So 2 plus 2 minus 3 plus 5 plus 1 minus 2. So the answer is 5. So remember while doing calculations on a soroban, you don't need to remember what the answer is. Just apply the operations and then at the end read the number. This is basically the power of soroban. This is the same thing that we were doing in the finger mathematics video as well. Now similar to like this, when you transition from a physical soroban to a mental soroban, they are also just move beads and then read. This will simply make your calculations lightning fast. Now let's try a two digit with two digit addition. Suppose we want to do 52 plus 31. In Soroban, always go from left to right. These markers are there to guide us. So 52 would be 5 and 2, 52 plus 31. So 3 beats these up and 1. Now read, 83 is the answer. So this is how you perform addition on a soroban. So remember never overthink, just move beads and read. That is how you calculate on a soroban. So now let's try a subtraction 88 minus 65. Represent 88, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we have to subtract 65. So subtract 6 from here. This is 6 and subtract 5 from here. This is 5. So now read, it's 23. So this is how you subtract on a soroban. Beads going away from the value bar means subtraction. So we just did here 5 and 6. Two beads went away. This was heaven bead, so 5. And this was earth bead, so it was 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. So we subtracted 6. And similarly, we did that here as well. So this is how we performed subtraction on a soroban. Now similarly, you can just add more roads and add bigger digits very easily. But before moving forward, there is a very important concept to learn. Till now, whatever sums I was giving you did not require much tricks. But suppose if I have to ask you, you have to do 3 plus 3. So this is 3. Now tell me how do I add 3 into this? See, we cannot only 1 is there. If I move this, this is 10. What do I do? So if you thought it, it's great. What we can do is this. We can add 5 and subtract 2. So it's 6. 3 plus 3 is 6. So what you just did is known as 
5's complement. Now similar to this suppose you have a 5 and you want to subtract a 3 from this. There are no beats I can move away from the value bar to perform subtraction because if I move this away this is minus 5. What I will do I will subtract 5 and add 2. So 5 minus 3 is 2. This is again an example of 5's complement. So whenever on a soroban you don't have beats available you take the help of complements. So now let's take a two digit example 54 54 plus 23. So now to add 2 it's simple 2 and to add 3 here we need to use complements. To add 3 first add 5 and subtract 2. Now read what is this 77 which is our answer. Now let's try another one 23 plus 45. So represent 20 3 now add 45 to it now here we need to use complement so what we can do is see add 5 and subtract 1 to add a 4 40 and to add 5 simply move this now read so it's 68 68 which is our answer now let's take an example of subtraction 76 minus 34 so 5 6 7 70 6 minus 34 so to subtract 3 here what we can do is subtract 5 and add 2 okay and to subtract a 4 here just subtract 5 and add 1 so it is 42 which is the answer so let us try this one 41 plus 36 minus 20 we will try to do it a little quickly see 41 plus 36 to add 3 add 5 subtract 2 and to add 6 add 5 add 1 and then subtract a 20 subtract 20 like this so it's 57 which is our answer so this is basically the advantage of soroban you just move beats and then read the answer now one thing i would like to tell you is that try to memorize these complements so that they become a reflex so whenever there is a minus 3 subtraction and you don't have beads you don't have to think about which beads to move so minus 3 with a complement should be very very reflex so try to practice these complements on a soroban so that they become a reflex to you like you should not pause while doing a complement operation now let's try a three digit example 142 142 plus 233 so 2 to add 3 add 5 and subtract 2 and to add 3 add 5 and subtract 2 so the answer is 375 as simple as that now let's take an example of three digit subtraction 764 minus 341 so let's represent 5 6 7 7 60 64 we have to subtract 341 now to subtract 3 here subtract 5 and add 2 now to subtract 4 here subtract 5 and add a 1 and to subtract 1 here we need complements no it's simple just subtract 1 so the answer is 423 now similarly like this if you add more roads you can add and subtract bigger and smaller digit numbers but it's the same theory so now you can just take different sums which require fives complement and just practice now before going forward i would like to tell you that we have recently started a new whatsapp channel where i can share insider news new channel updates and cool mental math questions as well so do join that from the link in the description of this video or from the card right up here and also be sure to follow me on linkedin now let's move forward and you tell me what is this a uh, eight now tell me i want to add a seven into it how would i do it can I use 5 complements? No, because the heaven beads is engaged. What can we do? It's very simple. We can simply add a 10 and subtract 3. What is this? 15. 8 plus 7 is 15. So what we just did is 10's complement. We just learned 5 complements and where 5 complements doesn't work, we need 10's complement. So why do we need them? It is similar to a carry. Since the addition is exceeding 10, we need to move to the next road. And it's always the next road. Suppose we have a 30 and we need to add 90 to it. So to add 90 to it, we need to add 9 into this road. How will we do it? We will add a 10 
एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट वन सो थर्टी प्लस नाइन्टी इज वन ट्वेंटी हेयर सिंपली वी डि नॉट एडिड अ टेन हेयर आई एडिड हंड्रेड एंड सब्ट्रैक्टेड टेन बट फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी इन योर माइंड सपोज यू हैव अ थर्टी हेयर इन दिस रोड यू वॉन्ट टू एड नाइनटीन टू इट हाउ विल यू थिंक यू विल थिंक लाइक आई नीड टू एड नाइन टू इट सो यू क्विकली एड टेन एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट वन This will simply make your thought process faster. Since if you are like working with bigger numbers, then you are thinking I am adding a ten thousand and subtracting thirty. Then it will make your calculation messy. So simply focus on the road, add to the next one, subtract from that while doing tens complement. Similarly, now you have to tell me what is this? This is ten, and you have to subtract six from this. What you will do? It's simple. See, subtract ten and add four. So ten minus six is four. This is also an example of tens complement for subtraction. Now here on the screen you can look at the different tens complements and you can add and subtract beads in any order you want but just try to be consistent with what you do. So let's try a two digit example 68 plus 27 5 6 60 8 plus 27 to add 2 it's simple to add 7 add 10 subtract 3 What is this? Ninety-five, which is our answer. This is how fast you can do it. Now let's try an example for subtraction. Eighty-three minus forty-seven. This one is very interesting. See, five, six, seven, eight. Eighty-three minus forty-seven. To subtract four here, what do we need? Five's complement. Subtract five and add one. Now to subtract seven here, what we can do? Simple tens complement. Subtract ten. And add three to it. To add three here, we need five's complement. So add five and subtract two. What is this? Thirty-six, which is the answer. So see, only five complements are not enough. Even only tens complement are not enough. You need to use the mixture of both. Now let's try a three-digit example. Three hundred five plus one twenty-nine. So three hundred five plus one twenty-nine. So one. 29 to add 9 here add 10 and subtract 1 to subtract 1 here what we can do subtract 5 and add 4 what is this 434 which is the answer now quickly let's try example of subtraction 480 minus 215 480 minus 215 to subtract 5 subtract 10 and add 5 and the answer is 265 this is how fast you can do on a soroban now for practice you can try these examples as well now here's one question for you suppose you have this 999 you need to add a 1 into this how will you think see in this road we need to add a 1 but we don't have beads so what do we do we need to add a 10 and subtract 9 so let's just subtract 9 but here here in this road we need to add a 1 but here same thing subtract 9 Add ten here. Similarly, we don't have so subtract nine and add ten. So nine 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 plus one is one thousand. So this is how carries propagate on a soroban. This is similar to how we do on normal sums. Now here's the last scenario. We also encountered this in a previous sum, but I want to teach you this separately for speed. This is known as mixed complements. So suppose you have a five, and you want to add a six into this. So you can of course not do it with fives complement, but can you do it with tens complement? See, ten minus four, ten minus four. That simply we cannot do. So what we can simply do with logic is that we can do this ten, and we have to subtract four here, so we can apply five complement. So subtract a five and add one. So six plus five is eleven, which is here. So this is called mixed complement when we use both ten and five complement in common. But if you want to calculate lightning fast on a soroban, you cannot always apply logic. So to make this automatic, you have to simply make this action reflex. So for addition, these are the complements on screen. Try to take a screenshot and also practice them. And to teach logic, I did that. But suppose you need to add a six into this, but you do this quickly: add one, subtract five, add ten. So this up, up, up motion. This will really increase your speed. Up, up, up while doing addition for mixed complements. Now let's try an example for subtraction. Suppose you have a 11, and now you want to subtract 6 from this. So first learn the logic to subtract 6, subtract 10, and we need to add 4 to it. We cannot add 4, so first add 
and then subtract 1. So 11 minus 6 is 5. But in practice, what you need to do, suppose you have 11, you can do minus 1 plus 5 minus 10. A down, down, down motion. This will make it a lot faster. Now here on the screen are the complements for subtraction and also remember that we need to use mixed complements on operations which involve 6, 7, 8 and 9. So let's try one example for two digit addition 37 plus 66. So 37 plus 66. 6 we can add easily. 6. And now here to add 6 we need to use mixed complements. For a plus 6 it's plus 1 minus 5 up up. And we need to add a 10 here, that means 1 in this road, but we cannot do it. So to do a plus 10 here, we can do plus 100 and minus 90. So the answer is 103. Here in this sum, we did two things. We applied a mixed complement and also a tens complement. Like there was a mixed complement, but then here, we need to apply a tens complement separately. So this also always happens. That's why I told you to do all these operations reflexibly. So now let's take an example for subtraction. 62 minus 26. So 5, 6, 62 minus 26. To subtract 2, we can subtract a 5 and add 3. Now to subtract 6 here, what we will use a mixed complement. So reflexively minus 10 plus 5 minus 1 and it's 36 which is our answer so down 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 that's how you perform mixed complement on subtraction by logic you can always do but try to become reflex so let's take a three digit addition example 286 plus 736 so 286 plus 7 here 567 we need to add a 3 in here so to add a 3 it's minus 7 plus 10 add 1 in here we can do this now here we need to add a 6 so for a 6 it's plus 1 minus 5 plus 10 so it's 1022 which is the answer now let's take an example for three digit subtraction 534 minus 3 78 which is the answer which is 1 56. Similarly, you can try these examples as well. The more you practice, the faster you will become. So with this, now you know everything you need to do addition and subtraction swiftly on a Soroban. Now the next thing to do is practice. For practicing, I have these two things. One is this Matix app and other is Math Blob Run. Both are really cool games to practice mental math. So this was addition and subtraction. In the next video, we will learn multiplication on Soroban. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.